What up y'all, it's Timmy. Today, I'm gonna show you how to process a caribou. We're gonna go to my good buddy Max's. We're gonna go butcher this caribou, get it into a really tasty steaks and roast and hamburger and breakfast sausage. So here we go. Welcome to Truck House Live, baby. First things you want to do is go to your local butcher shop for me it's mr prime beef here in anchorage alaska and pick up some beef and pork fat that way you can mix it in with your ground that'll make a just good ground burger and breakfast sausage usually you want about 25 percent fat mixed in Hi, oh pretty good how about y'all I'm just gonna see how many we get a chance to get some beef fat and pork fat from him. See. All right, we got the fat. I got uh, 10 pounds of quality beef fat and about eight pounds of pretty high quality pork fat. So it's gonna be tasty. And also got some. Uh, pork sausage seasoning for breakfast sausage. It's gonna be dank. So anyway, let's go to Max's. Here we go. Nothing like walking into a man's house to 25 pounds of fat. What's going on with this door? the operation nice Look at all that room all right here's the station it's indoors because it's dumping outside hey, hey Tim come hold this for me how long can you hold this for so we can wash your dirty meat <laughs> wash your dirty meat it's not that dirty just so you guys know too I gave Max permission to touch my meat so <laughs> Claire said it was okay that's my fiance yeah. she can come join us in us. the bathroom touching meat oh god the processing station. Claire, you want a bite of this before we do this? Uh -huh. yeah. Alright, so what's the process, Max? The front quarters on these ones, because there's, I mean, on these smaller caribou, really, there's not a whole lot of big muscle worth saving, so we'll probably just turn this all into hamburger for the most part. Gotcha. But, uh, you know, this outer little layer of fascia, you can get in here and yep. remove that pretty easily. Come back. I wasn't too sure what to leave on. I didn't know if you wanted some of the fatty stuff for the taste. Or yeah, the, the fascia, the fascia all this stuff, stuff yeah. It, it's nice to leave it on because then you can do this with it, right? You can remove all that and then get down to some nice clean yeah, meat underneath. It protects it. Yeah. So, so yeah, good. like this meat, like this piece we want to save, but you know, you want to kind of cut around and remove all that fat yeah, totally. that you yep. can and just try to clean it, it off. Don't cut yourself. Yeah, not again. I already did that. And then, okay, so all the fascia and crap like that. Uh, the stuff that's clearly you're not gonna, we're not gonna eat it, we're not gonna grind it, put yep. it in this bowl. That'll be dog grind. Gotcha. Dog grind. Nothing goes to waste. Well, I always just go like this, right? And you can feel in between them. And you can be like, all right, see, there's there's some more fascia to follow. Right? And then same thing here, like there's a bunch of fascia right there. You can even just pull it apart. Yep. And then you can start to like, that's I think the one muscle that is almost worth cutting some steaks out of. Yeah, basically, like I said, if, there's, if it's a muscle that's worth, like, oh, cool, maybe I want to cut a steak off. If you don't, all you got to worry about is getting the meat off the bone. It doesn't matter how you do it, because it's all going to turn into little bitty bits. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those look great, Jimmy. You did a good job keeping them clean. What's that? Oh, just the meat. It's, it's clean. It's, you know. I mean, I tried. Yeah, I know. It's, just, it's a good job. You know how that is in the moment, when you're just trying to rush and, like, Keep the flies out. No, for sure. It's uh, so. What, what do you call burger meat? I don't for know. For people that don't know. I mean. I mean, what's stuff is that it doesn't just look like? You like just butcher. It like, could be anything. Yeah, anything that like doesn't look super nice. Like I mean, like this. What are you gonna do with that, right? I mean, you're gonna I cut that into a steak. steak. You're not gonna steak that because it's got a bunch of yeah, seeds on thin. it, right? It's That's thin. It like you could scrape the meat off and make a steak out of it, yeah, but, but hey, you don't want to. It's all can be burger. So I feel like this whole thing is burger meat. I don't know. I'm trying to be careful with this. This whole thing. 
Yeah, that is. It looks like it to me. That's right. where you shot it. Yeah. So on this guy here too, right there. Yep. That's a bone that runs right down the shoulder, gotcha. so you can cut. It's almost like fillet and a halibut. How the halibut have that like thing right down the center. Yep. So you cut down each side of it. So this was a piece off the shoulder blade. Okay. And this is a piece that like, maybe on a bigger animal you could get a couple steaks out of or something, but like it's got sinew that runs right down the middle yeah, of it. So it's, so it's gonna be a little on the little chewy, chewy side, but it'll make great hamburger. Good hamburger, there you go. It's pretty much what I'm gathering is that everything's hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> on the front quarters. On the front quarters. Everything on the front quarters. So they're pretty much- On, a, on a caribou. Yeah. So is that Without what you're going to kill me with later? And bury me in the yard? <laughs> <laughs> looks like a club. Oh my gosh. You're the one that brought it over. Actually, that looks like you make like, you know, the armrest in a chair. Like a little, <laughs> totally. it has like little curly hand thing. Have you had a Yeti dog, Timmy? Oh no. Oh my God. It's like a Tommy burger of, of the hot dogs. So that's the quad. You're going to turn that into a roast. Oh, what do you think? What do you think? Do you want to make a roast out of it? Do you want to just burger it? Kind of roast it. It looks roastable. Yeah, super roastable. You're, you're cutting half to take half. You're roastable. <laughs> so we get a meat bet. Claire, what's your meat bet? I don't know. What's the pile look like? I mean, so you can pick it up. That, the big, that pot. pot. How, many, how much meat's that in that pot? pot? I'm going 13.5. One five. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, like, probably. Probably what? What's your, oh, what's your guess? Oh, I already Jesus. said 15 Same pounds. Oh, yeah, right. the camera was not. 15 Try pounds. To, you see that, folks? 16. Trying to cheat. What is it? Well, that pot don't weigh five pounds, so that's at least. That's 20? Yeah, that's 20 pounds. No way. One ounce. What? Yeah. The scale is broken. Yeah, pick up a toddler for a while. You can bang it. That's 20 pounds? That's that not 20 pounds. Like pounds. I, mean, I guess it is. I don't know. If this something sounds wrong. <laughs> Vacuum sealant bag. You put the meat in the bag. Alright, so we take the bag. The you know, machine is much crazier. You want to have the seam nice and smooth across there, no ripples. Push it down. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three seconds. Yeah, yep. checking. It's a super awesome vacuum sealer. Definitely going to invest in one of those at some point. Absolutely. Ooh. Yeah. All right, we're about to get into the rib meat and the hamburger bag. You put the meat in the bowl. So we're gonna weigh our meat out. That way we can add the correct amount of fat to the lean caribou to make sausages and hamburger with. And yeah, people go anywhere from like 20 to 30%, at least with the white tail, so I'm, I'm assuming caribou is about the same. Yeah, pretty much. So we're shooting for 25 here. You put the meat in the hole. Nice grab it. So we're gonna, we're gonna uh, grind this saw one time just to get it in little pieces, and then we'll put it uh, put the spices in, right? Or put it back through, and then you put the spices in. Yep. You tell me. <laughs> yeah, then we'll run through you're, again. you're the one that's supposed to know what you're doing. Mix it all up, and then uh, we'll have some there bomb sausage. So we got about 30 pounds of caribou, and however much, uh, like 10 pounds, about 10 pounds of fat, 10 pounds of pork fat for the breakfast sausage. The fat was pretty cheap. I think I paid a dollar. 40 for the beef fat, maybe 240 for the pork. So, where'd you get this grinder? Take like a decent one. Yeah, it's like a bellows. It's like the lowest model of the commercial grade that they make. All right, so if you that's challenge, bowl sausage. Yeah, if you challenge, well, that's just ground. That's yeah, the first ground. grind. So that's why it's all that's coarse lot. looking. So we're gonna switch over to a different blade, which will make it a lot finer, and be the final grind. So, uh, Timmy, if you challenge yourself here, I bet you can fit all of this into there and there. I bet, I bet you can pull it off. It'll be a little mounted. Grind all this. Get into these two, and then oh, we can go two? from oh, there. Can you know, we can put it all back yeah, and we'll mix it with seasonings right. and everything, because this bigger pot will. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're pushing the limit. Yeah, we're just gonna send it. I think we're just gonna send it, bud, onto your carpet. <laughs> all 
All right, so at this point we have grinded probably 30 pounds total of... 40 reason. pounds, well with the fat and everything we should yep. have 40 pounds sitting here. So now we're gonna mix in our seasonings and uh, re-grind and then we can go into packaging as we go. Explain the math if you can again too about like how to mix the fat. Uh, it's I not mean, what you it, think. It's not like you just take like whatever, however, you don't just take 25% of the weight of your animal. Yeah, so, so basically there, you know, you can get some confusion because you can take say 30 pounds of meat and then take 25%, figure out what 25% of that is and then add that to it. But that's not really going to be 25% in the end. What you need to do is have, say like if we want 25%, we need to do three parts of meat to one part of fat. That way, in the end, you end up with the correct uh, ratio. Yeah. Spices. So, in general, whenever you buy uh, spices for seasoning stuff. packages, whatever, whichever way you, you buy for your sausage, it's always pretty much 25 pounds per package of seasoning. That's kind of a baseline. So, since we got 40, we're going to use, you know, one and packages a half or one and a yeah, something like that, that. yeah, to, to get our seasoning where we want it. And then always test it first. So, we're going to cook some and try it and tell yeah. you guys how it is. Yeah. And this is stuff, like I said, I picked up this spice at the uh, local butcher shop, so more than likely they'll have something if you go to a... Yeah, everywhere yeah. has something. Or you can always yeah. order it online as well. Yep. And this is breakfast sausage mix. Like it's, I think it says pork sausage on here. You know, mix it up. How do you turn that Here, hit that light. Just hit the button in the outside. Like therapy. It's like a mud bath. Meat bath. Gross. That's the punk band name. I hate it so much. Hey, Timmy, that's a lot of sausage. Have you ever sausage a thing? <laughs> Don't. Don't even start. Don't start with me right now. I'll slap you with my meat hand. Oh, you gotta get in there deeper. <laughs> Switching out the blade diameters. Yeah, so we're going from the, the large holes down to the small yeah. ones. Just, it just keeps da -da. going. That's really good. That's really good. All right, we're on to the next step. Bag the sausage. Bag the sausage. All right, so to Timmy, game. Timmy, I'm gonna need you to make little sausage balls with your hands, and then I'm gonna need you to roll them into a turd shape form. I'm so not doing we it. Can get them I'm into the bag it. without getting a bunch of fat and gross stuff where we want the seal to happen. All right, so make a mess in the bag and miss vacuum seal it. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll do that. Like a pound of breakfast sausage is probably like that at least. That's a lot. Really? That's a, I mean, that's probably a pound, but that's a lot of freaking sausage, that's man. Less than a pound. Do you want to do less? Do you want to do that? Oh, much? I guess that won't fit in the bag, though. It will. Make it. Make it. Make it into a turd shape. Yeah, no, make it into a turd shape. Like double hand. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. use both your hands. Get in there. No, put it. You need more than that. That's not your whole thing. You were doing. I know. I'm gonna do doubles. Oh, really? Yeah, it's two. Yeah, it was a super long turd. Let's. You guys ever watch that show, The Aqua Teen Hunger Force? No. I hate it. So awesome. So, has anybody seen my wife? I think Carl is my favorite character. Dude. Carl is horrible. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. <laughs> feels like three four solid four four hours i think uh we got two hind quarters left we got a pile of bones a little bit of grind we've put away we've packaged a solid 40 pounds of breakfast sausage like and you know what the crazy part is noise. i'm more sore now than field dressing it and getting it out of there so yeah we're gonna rinse this quarter off we'll get her chopped up and packaged into roasts and steaks and then uh, grind up the last of the grind and the other quarter, and we'll be good to go. All right. Uh, I didn't do that. Oh, you nasty. All right, so, so what is this? What piece of meat? So we got our hind quarter here. We just got done rinsing it off. It still has kind of some, some crud, some, you know, whatever. Uh, same thing, you know, it's nice when you, if you process it, when you skin it, to leave as much fascia as you can. That's this kind of, this stuff here. Yeah, it's like the uh, skin under the skin. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of what separates it and it gives you that ability to, to trim it off 
and then come into some really nice clean meat again if you you know if you got any dirt or anything yeah. like and then all this stuff all this fascia throw it in this bowl over here see we've got a whole bowl full of what we call the dog grind that's all the excess little scraps and stuff that we don't want to eat we're going to grind that up and save it for our dogs because they love it oh, yeah. might as well waste nothing you know or <laughs> You should, you should record and talk about how you do it. Kind of working along the bone here. All right, so one more time, you get a giant roast like this, like, so you can what see do you, this. what is all that? What do you, how do you even start? So yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know that this isn't the necessarily like, I'm not a butcher, so don't take, I'm not my, don't take my word for it here. <laughs> but like, you can see this kind of white line right there. Yep. That's a good marker of like in between the muscles. So you can just kind of go right along that. Yep. See how it just opens right up. And then you can kind of run kind of, yeah, you can like feel and, yeah, where you, the muscles are separated. Absolutely. So. Like your hand is a great tool as well. to Just dig in there and split the fascia up. Um, and then you can kind of just keep opening it up. These hindquarters, you know, they're yeah. This I nice. feel like this the yeah the hindquarters definitely came apart easier than the front quarters. Yeah, it's way bigger sections. Oh, yeah. And then you end up with this nice yeah. piece, and then you can kind of come through and get the last little bits of hair off and clean it up and then we'll be ready for packaging. Ooh. And you can see how that muscle just came off separate from yeah. this one. And it's, it's almost it's almost pre-quartered. Yeah, it all has this like fascia way. in between, you know, it's all that. Do you kind of cut that off personally or you like leave it on for the... Um, I mean, honestly, if I'm taking roasts, I usually do take it off. Uh, if I'm doing hamburger or stuff like that, I just let it go into the grind because it just doesn't, it just gets all ground up, don't really matter. There you go. All right. Continuing on, we're getting close. The final push. The grinder is done with its job. The roasts. Yeah. That's for the rear quarters. The dogs are ready. Phineas is still awake somehow. I just threw the final piece of meat. We're going to go see what the after product looks like here. Bam. Oh, yeah. Can't even really justify how much sausage is under there. Nope. <laughs> There's 30 pounds of sausage. 40 pounds 40, of oh, sausage. Oh, I'm sorry. 40 pounds of sausage. These are all pounds. the roasts. That was yep. a solid, solid good job, buddy. Yeah. And then there's uh, 10 pounds of grind right there to turn into hunter sticks. Yeah, it's going to be tasty. So, yeah. Successful mesh. For the win. That's what happens. Full scent hunting, baby. That's right. All right. Thanks for helping, man. I'm out of here. Thanks for cleaning up. See you yeah, later. No problem. Cool. I got it. No so how long did that take to process that? About six hours. Good. Yeah, six hours. We're, six hours. We're, we're wrapped up. Done deal. Uh, that's it, y'all. Cut. Well, guys, it is 1.15 in the morning, and I am completely beat. But we finished processing it. We started at 6.30, so we've been going... Yeah, about six to seven hours at this point. I can't even do math, I'm so tired. Woohoo! <laughs> We're done. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, y'all.